Hey guys, Chris again from Classic VW Bugs, and what is going on at Classic VW Bugs? End of April 2017, almost May. The weather's starting to get a little bit warmer. It's been kind of crap here in New York. I'm just going to walk through my shop and show you what we are working on. Alright, so we'll go down this way. Here's a 1958 sedan that uh, a build -a bug client just signed on to. A guy's name is Bill out of PA. Awesome guy, fun guy. He signed on to this project that we have already been painted, and uh, I am assembling it for him. So we're moving on here, and of course there's my Black 51, which is a killer car. I started taking it out already this year. Really nice. Uh, we're actually going to a show this Sunday, the Concourse de Caffeine in Connecticut. So we're going to take a trip out there to see that. Here's our 55 Iris Blue that we just sold, and this baby is going to Canada. How cool is that? And this client is also signing on to a Build-A-Bug project as well. He also wants a ragtop, so we're going to be doing another one for him. Uh, here's a 66 sedan that we had for sale. We finally sold this car. It is going to Raleigh, North Carolina. This is a cool car for my friend K-Man that we uh, sold for him. Really nice. And then we got a 57 oval window ragtop for another client that we, are, that we found. This guy was on our Build-A-Bug program. And uh, we found this car actually already completed in Connecticut. And uh, I told them the, the quality of the restoration was on par with our work. And so why not get the car for a little less money than a restoration? Get it quicker. And whatever changes you want, we can get it done. And then you'll have it in his possession for uh, a much shorter time. So all we're doing is changing the interior on this car. Uh, he did not like what was in it before. And we're moving on with that car next. So... Now here's a uh, 56 ragtop oval window and uh, this was also purchased by Bill who signed on to the blue 58 in the corner over there. Uh, so while the 58 is being restored and put back together he bought this car to hold him over and to have fun with in the summertime. So he found this up on an uh, eBay I believe and he sent it over to us. We got some things we have to do to it, some mechanical things we have to do but uh, other than that she's ready to go. And then uh, here's a 67 convertible. We are wrapping up for an awesome guy named Bob. This car is actually going to Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. And uh, we put a new top on this car. We found it in the Northeast uh, in Massachusetts. And it was uh, painted probably several years ago, uh, but we did a new top, brand new interior, new tires, new mechanicals, things like that. And uh, brand new bumpers, chrome, all that jazz. And uh, so that should be exiting out of here probably next week. And over here, I came across a 1968 Brazilian Carmen Ghia. This car was in my town, or in my county, and uh, I've never ventured off into a Ghia yet, so I purchased this car to just dip my fingers into these cars and, you know, see how we're going to do. Uh, really nice car. This car was painted pr uh, back in 06. He did a nice candy apple red on it. Um, Brazilian make Carmen Ghias are wacky cars. I mean, they... Same with the Beatles, uh, you know, you know, Beatles out of Brazil, you know, if you pick up uh, like this 68 here, um, it has earlier features on it, uh, just like a, a later Beatle. So sometimes you might be able to find a 68 or 69 Beetle from Brazil, but it still has early, you know, headlights on it and such. Uh, I just basically think that uh, Brazil got the leftovers from Germany and whatever was left, uh, they applied to their car. So you might have a, you know, 68 gear like this one and it kind of looks almost 64, 65. And same with a Beetle, you know, I've seen that online. So, pretty cool car. I'm dipping my fingers into this. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll find a buyer. So, And then over here is my chassis for my 54 oval window rack top that I'm restoring for myself. My dad and I are cleaning the chassis. And uh, as you see, the top pan is getting pretty clean. Um, it had a lot of undercoating on it. And uh, so what we have to do to take the undercoating off is to torch it. I have a video on that as well. You just heat up the undercoating and you just start scraping it off. It's a tedious process. It's time consuming. Uh, you need a very well ventilated area to do this because that, you know, once you start cooking that undercoating, it starts to stink. But we are restoring the chassis as of right now. I got parts coming in to do all the mechanicals, the brake lines, brake shoes, wheel cylinders, all that stuff. Got to paint up the beam, make the chassis look real nice. So when the shell comes back from paint, which should be in about two weeks, uh, we should be marrying it back down to this chassis that's all nice and clean. So, uh, 
and that's basically it. Here's the 54 motor that we restored for my Beetle. My oval window rack top coming in. And that's the numbers matching motor to that car. I found this car out in Ohio. Uh, pretty cool. So once we have the chassis all detailed, we will then mount the motor to the chassis and then it's great to drop the shell onto the chassis at that point. So uh, that is what's going on at Classic VW Bugs as of this point. Got a lot of nice projects here, a lot of stuff going on. We do have four or five projects out at the paint shops right now. I got three different paint shops working on cars for us. And uh, so we keep things moving here. So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank uh you. -huh.